Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, a pretty simple technique, but uh, it's something that really bothered me for a long time because I didn't know how to do it and I couldn't figure out how to do it. And it's really a, a pretty basic thing, but uh, you know, if you just n never know how to do it and nobody shows you and you can't find out any answers online, then uh, then it's kind of hard to figure out. I ended up figuring this out by myself. Um, and um, maybe nobody else has problems with this, but I think that at least some people probably do. And what it is is the twirl tool. Um, I had a very hard time figuring out how to make it uh, pretty much just to control the twirl tool and uh, to make it uh, twirl uh, the opposite way of the default, which I believe the default is counterclockwise. So if you take your twirl tool and you uh, let's just make a line, let's pretend like we're making some sort of uh, maybe a flower or something and it's going to bend over kind of this way and I'll zoom in on it so you can see it let's say that we want this we want to use our twirl tool to continue this curve around uh, you'll see if I go over it with a circle we would want it to follow the outer edge of that circle where it is now uh, but if I go ahead and click it uh, it wants to go the opposite direction and uh, and for a long time I didn't know how to fix that, and now I do. Uh, it's it's pretty simple. What you do is you go over to your twirl tool and you double click on it. Uh, your twirl tool options show up, and what you'll do is uh, you'll see your twirl rate down here. Uh, to make it go the opposite direction, you simply put a negative sign in front of that 40, and you can also control how fast it goes. Uh, 40 is pretty fast. Uh, I would like maybe about 20 instead. Uh, you can control the, the shape of your brush as well, the angle and the intensity of your twirl. Um, let's take that down to 25 as well. And uh, you can mess around with all these other numbers uh, um, in check boxes as well. And I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And as you'll see, now when we press down, it follows right around that circle. And had I made a better path, um, this would be working very well. That little area right there wouldn't have happened. But uh, I'll just show you real quick. If something like that does happen, you just uh, press the minus sign on your keyboard. It gives you your anchor delete tool, and you just delete that anchor. And you delete whatever anchors are giving you problems. That was probably the wrong one to delete. Anyway, you just delete whatever anchors are giving you problems, and uh, it'll fix everything. And that was really a quick and dirty um, tutorial, and pretty basic, but uh, it's a good thing to know. So thanks for watching, I hope it helped you. Please follow me on uh, Twitter and Facebook, and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Uh, thanks again.